Hello everyone. Today we will discuss this oral hypoglycemic agents. Before this oral hypoglycemic agents treats uh, type 2 diabetes mellitus and the anti-diabetic agents treats diabetes mellitus by lowering glucose level in the blood. All the agents administered orally that are called as oral hypoglycemic or oral anti-diabetic agents except insulin. These agents are classified into four major types. One is sulfonylureas, example tolbutamide, glibenclamide, etc. Pygonides, metformin, thinformin, thiazolidine dions, rosiglitazone, pioglitazone, then alpha glucosidase inhibitors, megalitol and acarbose. First one is sulfonylureas. The structural activity relationship of this sulfonylureas, the benzene ring should contain one substituent preferably in para position. This some substituents enhance the hypoglycemic activity like methylamine, chloro, bromo, iodo and trifluoromethyl group. Compound containing uh, this aryl beta aryl carboxamidomethyl substituents are more powerful in the first generation means these agents uh, sulfonylureas are divided into two types first generation and second generation it is believed that the high activity of these uh, derivatives is the function of specific distance between nitrogen example glibenclamide and glipizide the group attached to terminal nitro urea nitrogen that is uh, urea nitrogen should be certain size and should be impart lipophilicity. The N-methyl derivative are usually inactive while N-ethyl derivative shows low activity. Optimal activity is use usually found in compound containing 3 to 6 carbon in nitrogen substituent while activity is lost if N substituent contain 12 or more carbon atoms. Some compounds contain an acyclic ring 5 6 7 member ring on terminal nitrogen such as tolazamide this is a terminal nitrogen this nitrogen is a part of this acyclic cyclic ring system cyclic ring system or <coughs> these are the acrs of this then mode of action of the sulfonylureas this acts on pancreatic beta cell membrane they are usually used in type 2 diabetes mellitus and not in type 1 diabetes. Sulfonylureas provoke the brisk, brisk release of insulin from the pancreas. They act on sulfonylurea receptor, one on pancreatic beta cell. This is sulfonylureas one receptor present on the beta cells, pancreatic beta cell of membrane. There causes a depolarization by reducing conductance of ATPase sensitive potassium channels. Then enhance the calcium influx and degranulation release of insulin. This is the in short mode of action of this sulfonylureas. The rate of insulin secretion at any glucose concentration is increased. In type 2 diabetes mellitus, the kinetics of insulin release in response to glucose or meal is delayed and subduced. The sulfonylureas acts on the second phase of insulin secretion with little effect on first phase. This is uh, in short mechanism of action of the sulfonylurea. These are the examples of sulfonylureas. The, how it is sulfonyl? This is S double bond O N H C double bond O N H. This is urea. This is sulfonyl, that's why it is sulfonyl ureas. This is an example tolazamide and tolbutamide. The IUPAC of this tolbutamide is uh, this is urea, paratolyl sulfonyl, paratolyl, this is paratolyl sulfonyl, sulfonyl urea, this is urea, then this is one butyl, this is butyl. Two, three times CH2, 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 and CH3. This is butyl. This is uh, IUPAC of this tolbutamide. Then tolazamide IUPAC is what? Azepine. It is azepine ring system. It, again, this is paratolyl sulfonyl 3 propyl ureas.
next one is uh, chlorpropamide and aceto acetohexamide <coughs> these are the first generation of sulfonamides second generation of sulfonamides are glibenclamide glipe glimepiride gliclazide is a second generation sulfo sulfonyl ureas glibenclamide then second class of oral hypoglycemic agents is uh, metformin finformin and buformin mode of action of this agents it is uh, insulin sensitizer mechanism of this is not fully understood these bigonides do not stimulate the insulin release but presence of some insulin is essential for their action this hypoglycemic action is due to improve insulin sensitivity by increasing peripheral glucose uptake and utilization then reduces hepatic glucose production and reduces gluconeogenesis decreases the intestinal absorption of glucose then reduce serum lipid it is interfere with the mitochondrial respiratory chain also these are the two examples uh, metformin finformin and buformin then next uh, next one next class is thiazolidine dion that is thiazolidine dion this is thiazol and dion that's why it is called as thiazolidine dion is uh, <coughs> rosiglutazone its mode of action is it is act on type 2 diabetes highly selective agonist for peroxisome proliferator activator receptor activated receptor gamma which is responsible for controlling primarily through improving insulin sensitivity to muscle and adipose tissue this receptor is binds to retinoid x receptor and bind to nuclear response element which leads to transcription of insulin sensitive genes and subsequently uptake of adipose muscle liver biogenesis fatty acid uptake and preduptive differentiation and glycolysis they are effective in presence of insulin these agents reduces the amount of insulin needed to achieve glycemic control means thiazolidine dion increases the glucose reuptake lipogenesis glycolysis and glucose oxidation decreases gluconeogenesis and glyconeolysis examples of this thiazolidine dion rosiglutazone pioglutazone sigletazone natoglutazone etc and iupac of this rosiglutazone will explain this is a thiazolidine 2,4 dion this is 2,4 dion thiazolidine then uh, benzyl it is benzyl it is benzene and this is CH2 this is CH2 that's why it's a benzyl then ethoxy CH2,1,2 this is ethoxy isn't it then amino this is amino this is methyl and this methyl is again substituted with uh, pyridine ring system so it is what methyl pyridine 2 il amino ethoxy benzyl thiazolidine 2 4 dion it is the iupac of rosiglutazone then pleo pio glutazone is again thiazolidine dion then benzyl ethoxy then ethyl pyridine ethyl pyridine this is ethyl and this is pyridine this is an example of thiazolidine dion derivatives then alpha glucosidase inhibitors example is voglibose and these glucosidase inhibitor from microbial culture lead to the isolation of acarbose from actinomycet this active gl alpha glycosidase inhibitor have common pharmacophore comparing a substituted cyclohexane ring and four six dio dioxy 4 amine d glucose known as carosine it consists of secondary amino group of this core substrate 
the structure prevents an essential carboxylic group of glycosidase forming uh, protonating the glycosidic oxygen bonds to separate substrate this is in short regarding alpha glucosidase inhibitor these are the examples of the same thank you